Welcome back to Good Morning Football. Now, NFL at Home has been giving us an inside look at some of our favorite players across the league. Now, this NFL running back is getting ready for another season in Washington, but he took it to a little throwback of some of his highlights in Minnesota. Now, I have my Minnesota Vikings jersey hanging up right behind me, so naturally, I was excited for this one. Take a look. Adrian Peterson here. My favorite run of my career. Uh, came against the Cleveland Browns. Welcome to beautiful Cleveland Browns Stadium. They have a packed house. You know, I was so excited about playing in Cleveland. You know, Jim Brown was going to be there. Jim Brown, how great is that? 2009 season, the same year Favre was playing with us. The weather was hot day. Adrian Peterson getting an IV at halftime. Issues of hydration. We will see how that plays out. He's in good spirits. He's fine. Drinking a lot of Gatorade and will be okay. The Minnesota Vikings lead the Cleveland Browns 27 to 13 here. It was an inside zone play. And uh, I remember taking the handoff. From that point, I know it's off to the races. Handoff Adrian and he's loose across the 50. Inside the 40 to the 30. And Adrian Peterson is gone. Adrian Peterson just refused to go down. It was an amazing feeling, man. I remember Brian McCool was coming down, and I kind of gave him like a, a shoulder to the right and then cut to the left, and he ate grass. I think I kind of remember myself laughing in that moment, you know. As I take off, the fender was coming. I just remember stopping and just shoving him out of bounds. And then I remember just trying to get back to top speed. And I was able to get the engine going. I burst off towards the end zone. And I just remember, you know, running to the end zone. A couple guys were chasing me. And I remember flipping the ball like I was going to throw it up, but I ended up holding on to it. That's definitely my favorite one play uh, in my career. One of our favorites as well. Of course, there's a lot to choose from. Guys, if you didn't think Adrian Peterson was an alien, think again. Here's further proof. We all know he shared the field with Randy Moss. Get this. Over 10 years later, he might get to revisit some of those family ties. This is a tweet from our guys at the Checkdown. Adrian Peterson might play with both Randy Moss and his son, Thaddeus, in consecutive decades. This is Crazy. Granted, we still have to see Thaddeus Moss hit the field, but this is one of those things to me. It's crazy to think about. So much talent can come out of one household. Uh, it's happened a lot of times before. I'd like to know, Shregs, who is your favorite family of NFL players? I'm going to go off the board a little bit. I think the Mannings are an obvious choice, and I've joked around about how much I love the Gramaticas as kickers, but you know, Terry and Eric Metcalf deserve some mention in football family. At home and you're the old St. Louis Cardinal fan or a Cleveland Brown fan, you're probably pumping your fist and saying, yeah. Guys, Terry Metcalf was a three-time Pro Bowler for the St. Louis Cardinals. In 1975, he had a rushing, receiving, punt, and kick return touchdown in the same year. He's one of the most dynamic guys. His son, Eric Metcalf, comes along and goes on to have one of the most dynamic careers as a running back, returner, receiver you will ever see. He had 12 career kick and punt return touchdowns. Okay. Twice he returned two punt touchdowns for the same time in a game. Now, this is a classic. 83, 93, I'm sorry, Metcalf in the final waning moments against the hated Steelers. Look at this punt return that he has for a game winning punt return at home in Cleveland, back before the old Browns moved. Eric Metcalf was a beast. He would go on to play for the Atlanta Falcons and have over 90 catches as a running back. One of the great un they're appreciated players and one of the great underappreciated father-son <laughs> duos in the history of the sport eric and terry metcalf i'm putting their name in the ring obviously thaddeus moss has a lot to do to even get in the conversation with randy i think eric right. metcalf had as good a career as his father terry pretty cool family and the football diehards out there they know full well what they mean to the nfl's history 
And there's this whole dialogue that he was related to DK Metcalf, and yep. everyone believed that. And then we did a thing on it in the show, and he reached out and said, it's not true. It is a myth. In fact, I am not. Mm -hmm. it's, we'll never solve that one. Um, but, you know, for some reason, I'm sitting here in May, and I'm thinking about Christmas cards. You see different variety, the, all the kids in sweaters, autumnal, beautiful Christmas card, or the one that you send out a seven-page letter about everything your family is doing. Let me show you what would be the greatest Christmas card in history and one that I really think should be sent out. Take a look at the Matthews crew. Let's just go through it, starting in the upper left. That's one family. Wow. Generation one, Clay the first, a tackle for the <laughs> Niners in the 50s. Moving to the right, generation two, that's Clay the second, a linebacker for 18 years. Bruce Matthews, a Hall of Famer. Then Clay Jr., Casey, uh, then Bruce's kids, Kevin, Jake, Mike, and come to find out Clay Matthews the third in the upper right, who is now a free agent, has a generation four and has Clay Matthews the fourth at home, who is a toddler waiting to join this Christmas card. That is one <laughs> extended family and probably the nastiest turkey Thanksgiving football game of all time. The Matthews, expansive. Hey. You can have your Mannings. I will roll with the Matthews from the 818. <laughs> How about this? Six degrees of separation. I ran for Eric Metcalf's track team, the Seattle Express, my junior year in high school. And, of course, what? I played against Clay Matthews in the NFL. So we're all connected here. Um, for me, I'm going with the Winfields. Um, Antoine yeah. Winfield Sr., who was drafted in 1999 in the first round, and Antoine Winfield, Antoine Winfield Jr., who was drafted 45th overall to the Buccaneers. Antoine Winfield Sr., I'll say it uh, again and again and again, he is one of the most underrated cornerbacks I ever played against and also played with when I was playing with the Vikings. And his son is now coming in as a safety, and he's a beast. I think he's going to be like this, this era's Rondé Barber for the Buccaneers. He is that versatile. And what's crazy about this is Larry Fitzgerald actually will be able to play against the – father and if he plays against the Buccaneers he'll be playing against his son so he has mm -hmm. met both generations these guys are pros pros and I know that his son Antoine Winfield Jr. is going to be just as good as his pops so I'm going with the Winfields it sounds like a sitcom <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can't wait to, to see them, of course, on the field. But we probably missed something about the Jordans, of course, Cam Jordan and his dad, Steve. That's 11 combined Pro Bowls mm. there. If we missed any, tweet us at hashtag GMFB up next, guys. You think this guy likes to happen in the draft? Is he the big winner of the 2020 NFL draft? I'd say so out of Missouri. Drew Locke. We'll talk about the Broncos often stacked up against the others in the league.